Hi friends and welcome back to the control engineering geek. Throughout this video, we're going to learn how to do or draw body plots for transfer functions that have complex poles or complex zeros. So let's start up with this transfer function here. This transfer function has a, a zero at minus three, stable zero, a pole at minus two, and has a complex pole Two complex pole conjugated poles as well so when when you face a transfer function that has complex poles or complex zeros especially complex zeros you have to check out the damping ratio that these complex uh, roots contribute to the transfer function and then decide whether the body plot needs correction at the frequency a break frequency or not so this transfer function here has two complex poles, okay, uh, which if we compared it with the standard form here, we can compute the natural frequency, which is, will be five, and the Z will be, or the damping ratio will be one over five, which is less than one. So since it is less than one, it need uh, the final body plot will need a correction to the magnitude part so if you see this is a transfer function a normalized transfer uh, this is a body plot sorry the magnitude part portion of a transfer function which has a complex poles okay if you see as the damping ratio grows up from zero to one and passes one the <coughs> The magnitude changed as well as the uh, break frequency. Break frequency for uh, complex poles or zeros will be the natural frequency squared. Okay. Uh, sorry, it will be the natural frequency itself. Okay, as we will see later. So, as you can see here, when the the value of the uh, ratio, the damping ratio, close to one there will be a peak for the uh, magnitude uh, portion. So this portion, this part here, you cannot draw using the uh, method we have learned in a previous uh, <coughs> videos. So you need to do a correction at the breakaway frequency, as we will do uh, in this video. So let's start our steps, which are three steps. The first step is normalization and scaling. So we have this transfer function. We factor out the zeros and poles. Okay. So we factor out the zeros three from the denominator. From the denominator, we take a factor out two here. And for the complex, we factor out the natural frequency square. So if we factor out 25. So eventually we will three over 50. And this form of the transfer function will be the uh, normalized and scaled up uh, and ready for plotting. The second step is uh, drawing the table. So we have this table here. The table starts up with the magnitude. The magnitude doesn't have any contribution for the slope, break frequency, or the phase. However, we have a zero at minus three. It contributes of plus 20. Uh, slope in magnitude uh, plus 20 decibel per decade it has a break frequency at 3 it will have a 0 degree at low frequencies and plus 90 degree at high frequency with an angle uh, with a slope of plus 45 degree per decade the <coughs> first pole the first pole the real pole or the, uh, the pole that is stable with a real value it will have a slope of minus 20 breakaway frequency will be 2 okay uh, it has a zero frequency at low frequency a zero uh, phase at low frequency at minus 90 degree at high frequency with an angle of minus 45 degree per decade however for the complex ball here it's better to deal with both of them as <coughs> this function here or this polynomial here so we have two poles 
each pole will give a minus 20 so in total will be minus 40 uh, in a slope both have uh, five break frequency and each one will give uh, zero to minus 90 so it will be zero to 100 uh, minus 180 each one will have a slope of minus 45 so a total will have both will have minus 90 okay the last part in the <coughs> table is summing up all these frequency uh, plots uh, or face faces all uh, the frequencies so we will still the body plot uh, the face portion we will see it will start from zero and ends up at 100 and uh, one, minus 180 okay the last step is uh, finding out the beginning point of the magnitude so we will uh, <coughs> substitute a low frequency like 0.1 in the scaled up and normalized uh, form of the transfer function as i mentioned er uh, in the last two videos for body plots you compare uh, this part with the value here and you can ignore this value you do this uh, with the <coughs> this uh, complex pole as well so you will end up with the value here so if you cancel up this one you will end up with one cancel up this we will have end up up with one cancel both of these in compared to one so you will in this uh, reciprocal you will have just one so eventually the the magnitude is the three over 50. take the log of this value here so will, will the <coughs> magnitude will start up of minus 24.44 decibel when the frequency is 0.1 radian per second okay let's jump to the plot let's start up with the uh, magnitude part okay this is the log log uh, axis let's start with the magnitude the magnitude will just uh, have a value of a minus uh, I believe 30 20 to, to a minus 24.4 okay for the first pole at minus 2 we draw it as we learned before <clears throat> it has a zero value until the break frequency at 2 and then has a <clears throat> angle line of uh, uh, slope of minus 20 decibel per decade uh, the zero at minus three uh, also starts up with a zero until it reaches the break frequency and will have an, a slope of plus 20 as it goes uh, to infinity for the uh, plot of the uh, complex part okay uh, as we uh, mentioned earlier we break away frequency of this two complex conjugated uh, poles will be the natural frequency which is 5 radian per second so it will have uh, <coughs> zero magnitude until 5 radian per second then we'll have uh, an angle line of uh, minus 40 degree uh, 40 uh, decibel per decade uh, as the, we are dealing with two uh, poles instead of one at this point we're gonna divide the domain here to three parts according to the uh, the breakaway frequency which we have at two three and five okay okay in this portion here or this part here the dominated will be the red one this is this this is zero so it will start off of minus 24.4 until it's reached the first break frequency at 2 where the uh, pole at minus 2 will dominate the or contribute to the body plot as well so this portion will have uh, <coughs> a slope of minus 20 degree 20 decibel per decade that comes from the first pole then at this part here uh, the blue one also uh, act will be active uh, with a 
slope of plus 20. So we have plus 20 from here, minus 20 from here. This will be a straight line again. After that, when we reach the 5 uh, radian per second, the green one will uh, be active. So with a slope of minus 40, uh, dissipate per decade, and it goes to infinity with this slope. Okay. Until now, <clears throat> these are the steps we have learned so far to draw a body plot magnitude portion of the frequency response for transfer functions that have real uh, poles and zeros. But since we are dealing with a complex pole here, to conjugate poles here, we need to do a correction to the system uh, at the break frequency of the complex pole which is at 5 at 5 this 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 value or this portion here are not correct it, it they need to be corrected so we know that this value here it's around minus 27 decibel okay if you compare it here so we need a correction so how do we do the correction? The normalized magnitude at the scale natural frequency is minus 20 log 2z. This is this is for the uh, <coughs> complex pole. So the value at this point here, at this point here, should be come from this value. Okay. If you check up this one, check up this one. So uh, this value has be has has to be true where is this value it is at the break frequency of the complex pulse as i mentioned earlier uh, so it will be at uh, five radian per second which is the co uh, natural frequency of the complex pulse here so minus 20 log 2z z we computed earlier it's one over five so it will be this value has to be plus decibel uh, plus 8 decibel but the value of the mag uh, the system here is minus 20 so this minus 20 is not true it we have to subtract plus 80 from this value so it will come up here <clears throat> a little bit to the up so and the body plot at the breaker frequency which is 5 radian per second is minus 27 decibel so a correction uh, of a plus 8 should be added to the system so at my, uh, at 5 radian per second instead of being uh, minus 27 decibel it should be minus 90 so we add this to the system this is my uh, this is minus 90 this is the point where is the minus 90 and you should do something like this okay so it starts up here, goes to that point, and come down. You can do it this very perfectly, but this point here will uh, improve or significantly improve your system, as you can see from the uh, portion uh, uh, that comes from the MATLAB. So the blue one is the coming from the MATLAB. The red one is coming from our uh, asymptotist. So if we do this correction here, see how this part will improve as we compare with the MATLAB this line should be calm here and for uh, around minus 90 and goes down so you can improve the plot of the magnitude uh, significantly by applying very simple rule which is this portion here so you, this you have to uh, <clears throat> use it for the, your correction if you have uh, complex poles if you have complex zeros so simply this will be a plus 20 log 2z okay okay let's do the mag the <coughs> phase part as well first first part we have the log log so but uh, keep in mind we add uh, a decay here because we're gonna deal with the decay before decay after the break frequency previously it started from 0.1 but here it starts from 0.01 and observe also the uh, line the the y-axis here it's in a degree okay as it will help us or assist us drawing the uh, face part okay let's start for the for the first pole as we mentioned in the phase 
part of the frequency, the magnitude of the function wouldn't uh, change anything in the transfer in the phase part. So we start jump out uh, directly to the pulse and zeros. Start with the first break frequency, which is at minus, uh, two radian per second. So we have uh, two over here. One decade before two is 0.2. One decade after two is 20. So we draw this line. Since it's a pole, it starts from zero and it's up at minus 90. Let's jump to the zero now, which is which has a break frequency as plus a three radian per second, which is which will be around here. Okay, so it will have a break frequency at 0.3 and a, uh, a decade, 0.3 and decade after it will be three, 30 radian per second. So it will be like this. Since it is a zero, it will start from uh, <clears throat> zero degree and ends up at minus, uh, plus 90. For the complex pole, which has a, a break frequency at five, will be around here two three four five around here so uh, it will be 0.5 and 50 uh, since it is two complex poles so it starts up from zero both starts up with zero both ends up at minus uh, 90 so if you add up them it will be end up in, uh, at minus 80 here okay once again do the uh, division we have the three break frequencies so will we have eight division since we are dealing uh, one decade before and one decade after the break frequencies okay so if you observe the uh, table we saw that the table starts up with a zero this uh, this is true this is start up with zero degree until reach this point where the uh, brown line here will be active which is the pole at minus two so it will uh, contribute a minus 45 degree per decade then the blue one uh, will be active again with uh, which has uh, a plus uh, 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 45 degree per decade so there will be straight line after that the green line will be active which has uh, nine, minus 90 degree per decade a slope until reach with this part portion here where the blue one or the brown one will be uh, constant at minus 90 so the blue one will be active again so take away uh, minus 45 from the line and uh, will finish up at uh, 3 radian per second so the green will be active again so it contribute another 45 for the system so it will be minus 90 again degree per decade after that you can add all of these up again which was minus 80 uh, minus 90 plus 90 so this will cancel up each other so it will finish up at minus uh, 180 degree so uh, the gig is happy here again but i will make him uh unhappy again when we compare our result with the coming the, from the matlab so at the break frequency of the complex pole poles at five red there is a mismatch very mismatch up and uh, after the break frequency here complex pole so uh, uh, we should do a correction to this portion again but it is very straightforward to do this you uh, do the phase format of the transfer function and do a uh, calculation of finding the angles before and after the break frequency and add up to the correction so it's not with the magnitude which has a formula of minus 20 log 2z directly you can add it to the magnitude i hope this was 